Hi, I'm Martin Musial, President of AMS Performance. Earlier this year, AMS was one of seven shops chosen to participate in the Castro Syntec Top Shop Challenge. AMS teamed up with Modified Magazine to produce one badass Mitsubishi 4G63 engine. The rules are simple. You must use a 100 octane spec unleaded fuel, and all the engines were to be dynoed on the same engine dynamometer. Points were given for max horsepower per displacement, power under the curve, and engineering capabilities. According to the rules, all boosted engines would have their displacement multiplied by two. Right away, it was an advantage for us. Uh, we set a lofty goal of making 1,000 horsepower. Now normally this isn't an issue since we've made over 1,100 wheel horsepower on our chassis dyno using a leaded high octane fuel. But this is different. We had to use 100 octane unleaded fuel and make almost the same power horsepower without hurting the engine from detonation. For the engine, we went with a 2 liter 4 3 engine program which has been proven over and over again. The bottom end consisted of manly turbo tough rods, Ross racing pistons, and a K1 lightened forged crank. For the head, we just finished our new CNC head program, we found considerable horsepower in the head. Uh, for the turbo, we went with the GT42R, which has been rated to 1,050 horsepower, and we knew we'd have to push it to the max to reach our goal of 1,000 horsepower. Um, Precision Turbo also supplied us the liquid air intercooler. Now, the advantage of the liquid air intercooler is the ability to run ice water through it, resulting in a cooler, denser charge, and thus making more horsepower. Our team of talented fabricators set out and made a header and also a large plenum intake manifold that featured bell horns for maximum efficiency. Now we've always wanted to do a dry sump oil system on a 4G63, so we took this opportunity to work with Moroso and develop a kit. Uh, now a dry sump oiling system has scavenging stages, meaning it pulls oil out of the pan and also helps create a vacuum in the engine. Now this vacuum helps to promote piston ring sealing and also increase horsepower. For engine control, we chose the AEM Engine Management System and their line of serial gauges. Now, the AEM EMS allows me to tune the engine for maximum horsepower and safety given the 100 octane fuel. For testing purposes, we put the Castrol Top Shot motor in our drag car chassis and tuned it on our dyno. The purpose of this was to develop a base map, and also, I was very impressed with how much power it made at low boost levels. For the actual competition, we traveled to the engine dyno facility. Uh, there we made a few pulls to test everything, make sure the boost level is correct, uh, and air fuels. And in the end, uh, we spun the motor to 9,000 RPM and also ran 40 pounds of boost. This resulted in 1,035 horsepower and 647 pounds of torque, which was high enough to secure a first place finish. Castrol Syntec Top Shop Challenge was a great competition. It was also a privilege to go up against shops like SP Engineering, O34 Motorsports, Busy Moto, and Cosworth. Hats off to all the competitors and thanks to Castrol for putting on a great challenge.